I truly believe that one of the greatest honors and opportunities that we will have as Christians in this world is to be a really good neighbor. I believe this largely because we get to play the role of neighbor to living, breathing, soul-possessing human beings. Think about it. Each one of your neighbors, picture your street, each and every one of your neighbors is a representative of the capstone of all creation. The ones of whom God says, not just good, but very good. Each one of your neighbors has been uniquely designed by the God whom you worship. There are no fillers in your neighborhood. There are no generic models. Go down in your mind, block by block, house by house, and you will find nothing but custom-made, one-of-a-kind image bearers of God Almighty. Each one of your neighbors possesses a soul, one put there by God, that will only find its satisfaction in this life in relationship with God. And yet, each one of your neighbors possesses a sin nature that naturally runs not to, but from God. And you get to live next door to them. What an honor and what an opportunity. We have much in common with our neighbors. We too fit the category of capstone of all creation. We too have been uniquely designed by God and made in the image of God, but unlike so many of our neighbors, brothers and sisters, you and me, we have been given the gift of the Holy Spirit through the hearing of the words of the gospel. And along with that comes a mouth a mouth with which to speak the words of that same gospel, to give the opportunity to that same spirit, to work that same miracle in the hearts and minds and souls of those who live 20 feet down from our front door. What an honor. What an opportunity. And you, my friends, you are the most qualified people for the job. You are. Consider in this last year, has your neighbor seen hate? You, the, you know the one whose name is love. Has your neighbor known despair? You know the source of unending joy. Has your neighbor felt anxiety? You know the peace which surpasses all understanding. Has your neighbor grown tired of living in a kingdom that is restless, mean, fickle, hard, and turbulent? Then good news, because you, my friend, are a citizen and ambassador of a far greater kingdom, one that is marked by patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It is an honor. It is an opportunity to be a neighbor. And you, City's Church of all people, are the right people for the job. So, my exhortation is that you would neighbor well this summer. That you would neighbor with intentionality this summer. That you would neighbor in awe and joy this summer as you marvel at just how great an honor it is to be a neighbor. And now, will you pray with me? Pray with me that God would make this so for all of us in this room. Lord, we, t we admit that we too often look up and down our street and see nothing but houses. We see houses. We don't see humans. We too often fail to recognize the miracle of the people who live right next door to us. We too often only recognize them if they have potential to serve us or the potential to bother us. Lord, we confess this to you. We confess this to you. Grow our hearts Fill our hearts with love so we would be the world's best neighbors. And Lord, along with this confession, we bring to you this morning all the other ways that we have fallen short. We have missed the mark this week. We bring them all to you, 
all of them to you in this moment of silent confession.